Hello, in this video I'm going to take you through a custom library. So right now we are able to load an image into our application from the camera. It seems to work just fine, except there, there could be potential problems that if we were to have more than one image, our, our memory might run out and our, and our phone would crash. So I'm going to switch back into the uh, documentation here. So there was something about adding an image to the gallery, and then there's another section called Decode a Scaled Image. And here's the warning that I want to show you. It says managing multiple full-sized images can be tricky with limited memory. If you find your application running out of memory and display... Okay, I've read enough here to know that there's a lot of things that could go wrong. So images take up a lot of RAM. Now, what can we do to fix it? So here's something called set pick, and there's a whole bunch of stuff about setting your dimensions and making sure that the orientation is correct. And uh, I could just copy the code. So, so that's one option. I'd like to introduce you to a custom library that I found useful. So I'm searching for something called Glide Android. And Glide is an image loading and caching library, it says. So you'll find this on GitHub, and you'll see that uh, there's some code and some examples of how to make it work. So let's, let's see what we're supposed to do with Glide. So Glide is a way to load images and automatically have them scaled and uh, the rotation, so you don't have to worry about it. So here is the basic idea. So you take uh, the message, you take Glide, and you say, with this. With this is the application context. And then you load something. So you can load in a URL, you can load in a, a file name, you can load in any way to attach yourself to a picture, and you say load it into an image view. And in one line of code, you take care of all of those issues of scaling and rotating your photo. So we're going to use Glide. How do you make Glide work? Well, it's a, it's a custom addition, so we have to do what's called a dependency. And you can see in this section, if you're using Gradle, which is what Android Studio uses for its dependencies, there's two lines of code that you have to copy. So where do I put this? Well, let's go back into Android Studio. What you're looking for is down here in the section called Gradle Scripts. There's two Gradle Scripts. The first one here says, don't place your dependencies here. They belong in the individual model, so we don't want to go there. The second Gradle script is called the app, and this is the one we're looking for. So down here at the bottom it says dependencies. So I'm just going to add a new line and paste in those two new lines. So we're going to add the Glide dependency. Now it says at the top, you've changed your projects, and now you should probably sync it. So let's click the Sync Now button. When you synchronize it, it's going to automatically download some jar files from the, uh, from the project website and include them in your app. So, no errors. It should be ready to go. Down here at the bottom it says Gradle Build Finished. Let's go see if it works. So I'm going back into my uh, code here, and in the part where it says Bitmap, I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to take out the other reference that says Load the Bitmap. So, let's replace it. What I can do now is do glide. There it is. Glide is now a new command that wasn't there before. And you can see it's coming from .com, uh, bumptech.glide. Well, now what do I do? With. With what? With the context. So I want to set this for this application. Then the next one was load. Load what? Well, we can load URIs, you can use files, you can use objects, you can lo load lots of things. So we're going to use file, and we have this thing called m.currentphotopath. The last was into, into the image view, so I do into.ivphoto. Alright, so that is supposed to do the work of the previous, so let's see if this will work. I'll delete the other commented out lines now, and uh, we'll run it again. We should get the same results. Okay, so the app runs again. I'm going to take another photo, and the camera comes open. Let's take a photo of the kitchen, and we'll click the check mark. And there's the photo. Now, it doesn't look like there's any difference. However, Glide has automatically scaled this to use less memory and to load properly into our image view. 
So since we've got that set up, we're going to use the load button for the next uh, part of our tutorial and we'll make the uh, load button work properly.